So what is a semicolon and why is it important for programmers? In this video, we will take a look at five key points you need to understand the semicolon for programming and work with an example for practice. On this channel, we sharpen our coding skills and discuss strategies for growth as an all-around programmer. Together, we discuss topics such as these three, creating value-driven content on YouTube to build a portfolio of experience for a resume, organizing the basics of coding to become an effective programmer, and ideas for how to stand out as a programmer. So, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And now, a huge YouTube welcome to this community, BAB Codes, and this video on semicolons uh, for programmers. The five key points about semicolons we will discuss are one main question, one keyword, what a semicolon looks like, and a practical tip. We will also look at semicolons, semicolons in action, um, delete the semicolons and retype them to practice as we learn how this simple symbol works with code to keep us organized. Ending with a recap and a link to a special practice video. So, unless you're not ready to explore, let's get coding. Repetition is key, so watch the entire video to familiarize yourself with the information. The main question is, symbol, <laughs> semicolon. Uh, semicolons separate statements. It's, it's simple, right? So we, should look at this like a library. I, I use this analogy very often. When you walk into the building, a library building, there is organization of books. And within those books, as you open the pages, there's content. Within that content breaks down words and the words are formulated into structures that have periods, exclamation marks, question marks, at the end. Coding is very similar. It's really not that much different. In the coding world, we walk into a package instead of a library. The package is the library. And I have a video on that. If you want more information, I'll leave a, a link down in the description for you. Once you're inside the library, inside that package, you open up a book. In coding, it's a class. So you go into package, you open up a class, and inside of that class is the content. As you're flipping through the pages of a book and you're finding sentences and chapters, that's what's inside the class. And then inside those structures, in order to make distinctions, uh, imagine, just imagine, if you try to read a book that didn't have any periods, that didn't have any question marks, no exclamation marks, no distinction whatsoever. It would just be a jumble of words, line after line after line after line, and then you'd probably start to figure out what's going on after a while. It's, it's gonna be difficult, right? So the semicolons separate out the statements just like periods separate sentences. So it's important, and when you forget it, the program's gonna let you know. It's either not gonna run or it's gonna show an error. Most of them show errors anymore because it's, it's a very familiar, uh, easy thing to point out uh, in, while you're running different programs, be it Eclipse or any of the other um, IDEs. Keyword, can you guess the keyword? At this point, if you're getting some value out of this, please tap the like button. I bet you figured out the keyword is semicolon. <laughs> semicolon equals end of statement or end of instruction. Now seems like a good time to take a look at some examples. Here are a few examples plus a practical tip. Practical tip, move to the next line after using a semicolon. What do you mean? So here we've moved to the next line. We've, there's a statement, then another statement, then another statement. And each time we've used a semicolon to end that statement. Remember, just like a period in a sentence, we've ended the statement. 
So we've created some variables here and ended those statements. Now you could take, if you follow the cursor, you could take this statement and put it next to this one, put all those two statements next to this one, and put all four statements on the same line. But that doesn't create enough clarity. You can, you can be clearer, you can be more clear by going to the next line, because then it's very obvious. Oh, this is a statement, and oh, here's the end of it. Oh, this is another statement. Here's the end of it. It makes it clear. The program's going to read it. It doesn't recognize next line or not. It only recognizes the semicolon. But for you, your team, anyone else that looks at it, you want people to be able to gain value from the content that you've created in your programs. And to do that very nicely, gently, smoothly, you want to put it on different lines and make it very easy for the next person to go in. When you're working with codes that are thousands, hundreds of thousands of lines long, the last thing you need is to be trying to figure out where the distinctions are and where they end. You want to be able to just go boom, 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 move on through, move on through, move on through, and save time. Saving time, it's not just about saving time for you. It's about saving time for yourself and your team, others, your future self even. So just think about that. Semicolon seems simple, seems easy to grasp. You're going to get used to using it all the time. But there's a deep, deep understanding of why you use it in a particular way to future-proof everything, okay? Simple, right? Let's take a look at the Hello World Upgrade Program and practice coding. If you're not familiar with the Hello World Program uh, Upgrade that I created, there is a video for that that you can watch after this and dive a little bit deeper on that. I'll drop a link in the description if you want to explore creating that simple program together next. Getting some value from this video? Please consider hitting the like button and commenting below. Okay guys, so here is the Hello World program and in it I've created um, a program that creates a little confirmation box. Uh, there's also the original Hello World gets printed out to the console and I've created a little message box as well that you can bounce back and forth. I've removed the semicolons. Have you caught that? This way, actually, let me remove this one too. This way you can see that the errors come up when the program doesn't have a semicolon. It says, hey, there should be a semicolon. There should be something here. What are you doing next? I don't know where to end. So it's simple. Find the semicolon on your keyboard and semicolon, boom. You see, error goes away, it creates a line with content, and it creates an end distinction. I use that word a lot, distinction. Um, it's kind of fun to say, a little bit hard to say. You really have to articulate. Um, let's hop in and add another one. So here again, We've imported something, in this case it's javax.swing.joptionpane. That is a, a pre-created class, and at the end of it, we say, that's all we want. Distinction made, give it a semicolon. Down here, we add another semicolon to end this statement. Boom. Uh, this is a comment. We need to end that as well because we can always uncomment this and bring it into the program so the program will actually run it. I don't actually want that, so let's comment it back out. If you're interested in learning more about comments or practicing comments, I will leave a video description, I will leave a link in the video, of the video in the description box below. You get the point. All right, so, now we also need to add one more because we still see there's an error. We are missing the semicolon. Boom. See, now we have all the semicolons. Everything has a distinction. We've walked into our library, remember that? We've walked into our package. We've picked up 
classes and we've opened them up to read the content and we've created some really nice distinctions of statements by adding semicolons. It seems like you understand the importance of a semicolon. So let's wrap up this video on semicolons with a recap. Now, in this video, you've learned what a semicolon does and how it is used. Semicolon. What is a semicolon? Semicolons separate statements used to create distinctions in code to organize statements. Do you remember our examples that we just did and we just went through? Package hello world upgrade with a semicolon that ends the package. The import javax.swing.j option pane. We put a semicolon at the end so that the program can see that it's ended. We've also added the statement system.out.print on a new line, the original hello world. And we've ended that statement with a semicolon. You are crushing the semicolon. I'm a huge advocate for further education. Here's a link to the semicolon practice video. In that video, we really hone down in and just hop right into practicing and you, you repeat, repeat, repeat to really let it sink in. Even if you think you got it, just do it one more time because you wanna stack that information in your mind. It makes the significance of it grow even more. If you need help learning to code something or have ideas that you want to learn about, please, now's a good time to practice creating comments. Post them in the comments section below. If you got some value from this video on semicolons, you may find the semicolon practice video helpful. Click it down in the description section. Also, feel free to check out any other videos on coding and practicing code together. You may want to check those out. Now, go code! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.